Welcome to the comment show, where we respond to your YouTube comments. I think this is actually the original cast of, yeah. of the pilot, if you will. Whoa, boys are back in town. <laughs> Reunited. I think you should do the honors of the first sure. one, because uh, you wrote this video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The secret to a perfect body, colon genetics. With genetics, I only need to go to the gym once a week, and that's just for a shower and a smoothie. Commenter, who really cares, right? Why doesn't the government just spend research on that instead of research on cancer? <laughs> With genetics, the gene for cancer would never activate in your DNA, right? Wow, sounds like you really care. I think they probably do a little bit of both. I read an article that they sequenced someone's DNA. There was like some kid who was in a coma in the hospital and they didn't know what was causing it. And they used DNA sequencing to find out it was a rare form of bacteria that was affecting him and they had him better in like two days. So science is on it, dude. Who really cares? <laughs> science cares. Emily, <laughs> you traced your genetic lineage in a very specific oh, way. So freaking disappointing. You did one of those like mail in, like yeah. where am I from? Like I you just take a cotton, you spit in no, a cup. No, it's more than that. You gotta- You gotta spill really up like a whole vial of spit. Hock a loogie and spit up a <laughs> vial and then seal it in a bio, like a biogenetic warning uh, bag and then what? you processed it. And then they gave me like, the worst fucking result. A lot of it was like unclassifiable. I Maybe think you're an alien or like a clone or something. Yeah. Oh my god! Thank it's you for just thing. thank you for just spinning my disappointment. <laughs> yes. Goombrat uh, writes. I asked people in my nine, nearly ten year class if they genetically modify themselves, and everyone said strength, speed. Massive boob job, or didn't know the <laughs> definition. No one said intelligence. Two of these things are like superpowers, like super strength, super speed, and yeah, yeah. giant boobs. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, That's definitely what I would do. Closest you can get to mind control without actually being mind control. Uh, Man, Superman would be real weird with giant boobs. <laughs> super strength, super speed, and giant boobs. Right. No one said intelligence. That's too bad. Honestly, yeah. if I had huge boobs though, I could sort of just rest the book there and just be reading while I'm walking around. <laughs> Mr. Mein, mein Namen. Oh, that's gotta be German. All I want is sideburns. Genetics. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's Although the that guy one. equivalent to a big boob job. Yeah. yeah. Awesome sideburns. Wolverine, Wolverine sideburns. sideburns. Yeah. Oh Actually, I think probably the closest thing for, for guys is like, uh, like the ability to grow facial hair, right? Like, like yeah. if you can grow like a real nice solid beard, it's like, like that's like that's like I cannot. Be, like, I can't grow sideburns. Like you see, it's ha this just yeah. keeps happening. I get like 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 payas or whatever. Oh, would you ever do it with makeup? I <laughs> <laughs> just touch it in. Zezba nine thousand writes. What's ironic is someday you will be able to change your genetics to whatever you most want. Likely, transhumanism, simply put, will get rid of genetic discrimination altogether. Winky, tongue face. <laughs> <laughs> Transhumanism and an emoticon. Is transhumanism and the same thing as like the singularity? Is that? I feel like I hear those I things think, used often. I think it's like this. It's like I just saw a really great article yesterday. <laughs> you I'm, and your article. I'm an expert talking about articles. <laughs> um, uh, I just saw a really good article that was like, is Edward Snowden the first post-human? <laughs> and it was because like now he always appears as like um, on an iPad. They mm -hmm. just like roll him around on an iPad <laughs> because he can't leave. So they're like, he's like a post-human. So yeah, maybe yeah. transhumanism is kind of like that. Like, Trav, I gotta say, your, your, your video uh, probably has some really, some of those provocative Dude. thought Provoking I love these comments. comments. Collectively, like writing like a really great sci fi novel. It's like, I know. They're, like toss around ideas like, we'll have big boobs, we'll be able to choose all the boobs we want. <laughs> <laughs> like, and everyone will be dumb as hell. <laughs> Would you guys, like, if you could say, like, you know, you go into the doctor's office, you're like, we're gonna have a baby. Um, and they're like, okay, do you want a girl or a boy? Would you make that choice? You should pose this question to our viewers, actually. Like, if what? I like chose, it was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a, a boy. And then it's like, this is a shitty sentence. Like, I should have picked girl. And yeah, like, you know, I like think now it's like my me. fault. Like, you know, like yeah. whereas like it's like, yeah, leave it up to fate. You know, like it's yeah. like it's like, well, you know, like I'll just, you, you gotta make do with what you got here. You know. Yeah. Very, very uh, intelligent questions. Hottest lesbian kiss ever is next. <laughs> Lesbians, bro. <laughs> Pokeman260 says, Hey, homophobes, the majority of the U.S. now... So he's talking to you, uh, Trap. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Hey, homophobes, the majority of the U.S. now supports gay marriage slash gay rights. How does it feel to, the, to be the minority now, bitches? Good to see a comment, um... That ends in bitches. Um, that <laughs> yeah, that this is the most. I, I do love these comments Although, that are that are like really like they're like it's like I'm gonna make this good point and then like bitches, bitches. or like winky face. Tech noob dude. So lesbians are time lords. <laughs> I'm sick of these stereotypes about all lesbians being time lords. Okay, okay? some lesbians, like, some lesbians are, are time lords. lords. But that like, does not mean that all lesbians are time lords. Comic book guy writes. 
Thank you, College Humor, for making me need to delete my internet history again. <laughs> uh, that's true, yeah. yeah, like a nice, nice title there. Dude, you don't know the half of it. When we're writing sketches here, we... Oh, yeah. I have to look up the weirdest shit. Right, yeah, it's true. But then sometimes I just do it on my own, too. Ball Busting PSA, which was an all-nighter video. He said, your new name is Fruit Snack. I said, hey, please don't call me that. He goes, hey, I'm just busting balls here. Scott Swan says, Bunch of guys hanging out talking about where they were from. One guy says Boston, another, another says Philly. Then a guy says Minnesota. And I was like, hey, what state is Minnesota in? My name is Minnesota for four years. <laughs> <laughs> that's the perfect example of ball busting. Like, you can make one dumb mistake and it's like, that's your nickname now. <laughs> if you ever meet someone new, like who's like new to the group and they're like, hey, why do they call you Minnesota? You're from Minnesota. It's like, Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> like you have to relive your shame every time. You guys have nicknames in high school or college? My friend Jason started, everyone called me EX. Oh, mm -hmm. that's kind of, what did you like it? Was, it? I loved it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, people just called me Trap, which mm -hmm. they still do now. Trap. Just because there's, there's like attack. way too many Mikes and Michaels. Do you know the uh, Nicki Minaj song, Bees in the Trap? Yeah. I always get bees in Mike Trap. Bees <laughs> uh. in Mike Trap in my head when I like write you an email. I wonder, I wonder what this current state of ball busting is on like construction sites. It must be, <laughs> they must be a little more progressive They've got than it. they They must years have ago. entered like a post ball busting A post ball busting phase. era of <laughs> yeah. construction sites. Do we have any ball busting or... in the... In the office? I bust Adam kind of I was going to say Adam. Yeah, I was going to say that's Adam. Adam. Too. I was like But that's just because he, he takes such a strong stance on things. It's, it's like, I feel like you need to bring him down. He doesn't ball bust. He does, like, he, like, self-righteous busts. Like, if you're, like, if I'm using this cup, he's like, oh, don't care about the environment, do you? I say you're circumcised. That's kind of strange, don't you think? It's funny that they, they say, uh, it's like, it's used as, like, I'm just busting your balls. Like, don't get excited. But it's, like, ball busting by the name is like a horrible, yeah. painful oh, thing. Jesus. Guy who likes every sports team, starring John Gabris. Yeah. I love baseball. Ryan Petoskey says, when idiots put too much merit into men playing a game against each other for way too much money than they deserve, every sports fan is an idiot. Smiley face! Because this sketch kind of makes fun of bandwagoners a little more, yeah. and not sports yeah. fans in general. I feel like this is like a sentiment that a lot of people who don't like sports like to do, because it's like, it's like, well, I don't get this, so I'm gonna like rain on your parade, but it's like, you can like apply the same logic it's, to anyone's yeah, hobby. Yeah, you could be like, like oh, sci-fi isn't real. Fantasy, yeah. superheroes aren't real. I don't understand why people spend so much time getting excited about these not real superheroes. Yeah. You could say almost the exact same thing about like watching Game of Thrones. It's like, oh, you're paying all these people to dress up in silly costumes and like, <laughs> why do you care so much about this? Drake McHorder, behold, I am the guy who likes no sports team. Ooh. You're the one guy in the world. That's the sequel. It would just be someone being like, I don't get why you like sports. Yeah, yeah. If you put him with Gabrus, maybe, like the two of them, it's like him just being like, oh, but you gotta love this team. It's like, oh, I guess no, well, maybe. What? Like, what? what? Okay, well, how about this one? Uh, Adwin85 uh, writes, guys who like all sport, all teams are the real sports fans. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, if you just <laughs> like athleticism, uh, I guess true, that's true. Yeah. They're a fan of sports. As an idea. As an idea, yeah. As like, I enjoy watching uh, humans at their peak physical capabilities. I mean, I do. You ever watch So You Think and Dance? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no problem if you ever have. I got into it because it's just like people whose bodies are just sure, yeah, muscle. They're just moving muscle. Yeah. And again, in impressive they way. make it's it like look Olympics so fluid. Olympics or gymnastics. I try to dance along. So you but, think you so you think you could dance? So the answer is yes, I do think I could dance, and then at the end of every episode, I find out no, I cannot dance. <laughs> <laughs> the, I the, thought I could the, dance. The thesis, yeah. <laughs> so I thought I could dance, but I can't. Yeah. These are comments on the comment show. This is what I call the yeah. inception part of the episodes, <laughs> where we go so far up our own ass. <laughs> um, That's what inception was. It was yeah. one journey up an ass. Up Leonardo DiCaprio's ass. <laughs> The UKASMR? That's the UKASMR. Hell yeah, my comment was up there. And yeah, we do love our American accents. Winky yeah. face. I wonder if British people like American accents. Oh, so this That's funny because I actually, because I looked in the comments to see if like people liked American accents or not. Uh, and that's I saw right. Lot, I saw a lot more people being like, no, we don't like American accents. And I was like, okay. The same thing with like, oh, a British accent. Like there's so many British accents. We'll also say like yeah. American accent. It's like there's... Like also yeah, so many. Like, yeah, there's like Midwest. I got kind of that um, that real charming upstate New York <laughs> nasal. <laughs> <laughs> Albany. Draw. Heavy Albany accents. <laughs> I think nasal sort of defines most American accents though. Yeah. The ones from like the deep south, can they be, can they have an ASMR-ish voice? I wonder. I oh, definitely. Oh, sure. Southern voices really? are so relaxing. 
A nice whispered one. southern Toby voice. Toby Keith. Yeah. <laughs> Scrooge McFuck. These guys will post anything I write just to read my name. <laughs> Scrooge McFuck. Scrooge McFuck. Scrooge McFuck. Scrooge McFuck. Scrooge McFuck. Scrooge McFuck. <laughs> it's not Why fair. Why are we playing into this? We don't, read, we don't see these beforehand. Someone else is picking these, so it's not our fault. Yeah. We won't fall for it again. Not again. And I'd, I'd like to see what he has to say to that, you know? Yeah. Press fart to continue. <laughs> hey, good job me. Again. Press fart to continue. Piss or lemonade? Nah. <laughs> Okay, okay, I don't Good remember. Good job, Jimmy. He's sort of like, I guess, like, you can be a famous commenter now. Can you do a three, uh, can this commenter do, do it like a one month only comment on our video's residency? <laughs> if you want to see in residence. Fart, press fart to continue. You, you gotta have, come to our video. Yeah, we put him up in like a little house, like just outside the <laughs> office, and like has like uh, employees over every once in a while for tea. It's like, oh, let me tell you about the project I'm working on. He has a team that's like writing and rewriting his comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that's it for this episode of the comment show. Any last words, guys, before we go? Um, oh, I don't want oh, to gobble up Bye. the last word.